With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, let's discuss the question. If the angle between the line joining the foci of any ellipse to an extremity of the minor axis is 90 degree, find the eccentricity, also find the equation of the ellipse if major axis is 2 root 2. So let's begin with solution of this question. So if we'll draw a rough sketch of the ellipse, so let this will be our y axis and let this will be our x axis and if we'll draw the ellipse, so ellipse will be like this and this will be our ellipse. So if we'll assume our ellipse equation to be x square upon here will be a square plus y square upon b square equal to 1. Let this is our ellipse. So for this ellipse, we can say that if this b is smaller than this a, let this b will be let this smaller than a. So we can say that uh, this ellipse has eccentricity e equal to root of this will be 1 minus b square upon a square. This will be the eccentricity of this ellipse. And uh, in the question, it is given that the minor axis that is the angle between the line joining the foci of any ellipse to an extremity of the minor axis is 90 degrees. So if we locate the focus of this, so let this will be our first focus f1 and let this will be our second focus f2 and this will be any extremity of the minor axis because here in this ellipse this axis that is major axis is x axis and uh, this minor axis is y axis so if we'll just join this point with the focus so let this will be f let's name this will be p point so this will be p f1 and this will be p f1 and f2 so we can say that uh, the angle between these two lines it is given as 90 degrees so this whole angle is 90 degrees so we can say that this this half angle will be 45 degree. This half angle will be 45 degree. So if we will name the center of this ellipse as a C. So we can say that uh, this PC will be equal to CF2 because this angle is 45 degree. So 10 theta will be equal to 1. So since, since 10 uh, theta or we can say 10 45 equal to 1. So 10 45 will be like this. That is this CF2 upon divided by this PC. So this will be upon PC. So from this will be equal to 1. So we can say that this PC or CF2 that will be equal to PC. So we just locate the coordinate of uh, this F2 and this P with respect to this center. So since this center is the origin for this ellipse because center is origin of this ellipse. So coordinate of center C we can say this has 0 comma 0 and for this ellipse for this ellipse we can say that the end of minor axis we will just substitute x this x equal to 0 so we get the end of minor axis as 0 comma plus minus b so this end will be 0 comma b so the p point p point has coordinate x equal to 0 and y equal to b similarly if we will talk about this focus that is f2 so f2 will have coordinate this ae comma 0 this will be the focus of this type of ellipse on the positive side so this will be focus so from here this b distance that is this pc will be equal to b and this a will be equal to cf2 so we can say that b will be equal to a this will be a and here this is the formula of eccentricity so if we'll just substitute the value of b upon a so if b upon a is equal to e so we will just substitute here so we get this as a eccentricity or we square both sides of this equation so we get e square that will be equal to here will be 1 minus and here will be b square upon a square this b square upon a square and here we will just substitute b by a equal to e so we get this as e square so from here this e square and this is square so this will be 2 e square equal to 1 so we can say that eccentricity will be equal to 1 by root 2 since eccentricity is a positive quantity so we will just take the positive sign so this will come out to be the eccentricity of this ellipse now we will just find the value of the a and b so here it is given in the question that major axis of this ellipse is 2 root 2 so major axis length will be equal to 2a for this ellipse so we can say that major axis major axis this is equal to this 2a and that will be equal to 2 root 2 according to our question so from here we get a value of a that will be equal to root 2 so if we will just substitute the value of uh, this a into this equation so we have already the value of eccentricity so from here this 1 by root 2 we can say that this 1 by root 2 which is eccentricity that will be equal to b upon a this a and here the value of a is this root 2 so this will be root 2 so from here we get the value of b and that will b will be equal to 1 so basically in the question we have to just find the eccentricity and then we have to find the ellipse equation 
so from here we will just substitute value of a and value of b into this equation we get this as x square upon this will be root 2 square and here will be this y square upon b square so b square will be 1 square and that will be equal to 1 so from here we get this as x square upon this will be 2 here will be y square and this will be equal to 1 so we will further solve this so we get this as x square plus 2 y square that will be equal to 2 so this will be the equation of required ellipse so ellipse is this equation thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today